I wanted to create something unique and I wanted it to be something that I can keep on my persons at all times. So I've been making these bracelets and putting a lot of effort into making the packaging. We went from plastic to fabric and now burlap. Wouldn't you agree that all bags need a dead crab on it? For each bracelet variation, there's two sizes, a small and a large. I've made these tags, but they're ugly as fuck. So I came up with this solution, tiny little letters. A couple days ago, I uploaded a three minute tutorial on how I sculpted this. I export my model as a GLTF file to my computer so I can have more controls using a different program, which is Blender. First, I delete the default cube camera and light, import the GLTF file, shift A, add text object, Click tab to change text, extrude, scale down, scale down again, shift D to duplicate, position. When it's done, export as an STL file. Now we have small and large. In Lychee Slicer, I prepare the model, size up, add holes, generate supports, duplicate and arrange, double check your work, looks good. Now it's ready to export. This print is gonna take about 59 minutes. Stir your resin, select your file and hit go. When the print is done, you can see it on the plate, upside down. Untighten and remove the build plate. I use one millimeter thick wires to string through the holes. I usually take a heat gun to this to make the removal process way easier, but I didn't this time. Because of surface tension, there's a little bit of resin left on the models. This is isopropyl alcohol, and this machine works like a jewelry cleaner. The stars are going to be in the bath for about 20 minutes, so I take this time to clean the plate and reattach it. I have a spray bottle with 99% isopropyl alcohol in it. The timer will go off when the bath is done. It takes about a minute for my models to dry. They're looking great so far. They were crotched to cheek in the bath so I gave them space and let them get hard outside in the sunlight. After 30 minutes in the sun, they're safe to touch. 